Genshin Impact is an open world, Breath of the Wild inspired JRPG. That's it, that's the game. But you probably wouldn't know this based on the kind of content you see for Genshin Impact just by searching on YouTube. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this vid today. Um, I've been thinking about this for about two to three months now, ever since I started watching Genshin Impact. And I started noticing that most of the content produced for Genshin Impact is in fact character guides or content surrounding characters, which is not wrong or a knock on the content creators because the characters are a big part of Genshin Impact and Mihoyo does their best to hype the characters up. Every single patch, every single new character, they want this thing to sell very well. Every single character gets their own trailers, their own teasers. Well, maybe not all of them get teasers, but the most important ones do. And every single character gets their own trailer. At least the five stars. I don't know about the four stars. Nobody cares about the four stars, let's be honest. Well, so why is this a problem? Well, it's not entirely a problem. For people who already know about Genshin Impact, it's not a problem. But like most of you, I didn't play Genshin Impact at one point. And before I did, I had no idea what Genshin Impact was. I had no idea what gacha games were. Okay, that's not true. But I had no previous experience with gacha games. Okay, that's not true either. I did play Ark Knights. But I had no idea about gacha game community as a whole. That is kind of true. So, I think there is a possibility that Genshin Impact as a gacha game and its perception as a gacha game is holding it back. Because what keeps me playing Genshin Impact, Genshin Impact is actually not the gacha part of the game. It's the fact that Genshin Impact is a legitimately good JRPG. It is probably the most I've enjoyed a JRPG since Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah, I spent about 500 hours in that game and no regrets. I did all the paths. Um, I did three of them. I did f all four paths and two of the paths over again. <laughs> Okay, that's not the point of this vid, but Fire Emblem Three Houses, great game. Point is, Genshin Impact, even without the gacha system, is itself a great game, but you wouldn't know it based on the kind of content that Genshin Impact content creators produce. And again, it's not a knock on them as Genshin Impact content creators, because that's they're catering to their audience, and Mihoyo is catering to their money base, um, whales, and whales want it whale for characters. They may not know it, but... That's their addiction. That's what they do. But even without the whaling system, okay, the Genshin Impact gacha system, not whaling system, gacha system. Um, Genshin Impact is extremely extraordinarily enjoyable to me. I have spent money on this game, but have not spent giga whale amounts. I've spent maybe around three hundred to four hundred dollars. Don't think any worse of me. Okay, I thought worse of myself once I said that. But, even if I didn't spend that money, I still would enjoy Genshin Impact because it is seriously one of the best realized worlds in JRPGs I've ever played. Even though I have complained about the recent Bao story quests, I still think, on average, when taken as a whole in terms of the JRPG universe of games, in terms of the JRPG genre, Genshin Impact stands out as one of the better realized worlds, certainly better than Final Fantasy XIII, Final Fantasy XV, and even on par with Final Fantasy XIV in my opinion. I really do think it's a great JRPG open world Breath of the Wild inspired game. And even without the gacha system, it would stand on its own as a AAA JRPG. So if you're a new player or thinking about starting in Genshin Impact or don't even know what Genshin Impact is, I would suggest you just try it. Don't be afraid of having to spend money on this game. This game is not pay to win. You can finish the entire game with free to play characters. You will get enough primo gems to wish for characters that you can use to free complete this game. And there are guides for even characters you just get for free, even without wishing. And you can use those to finish the entire story quest. So this game really is free to play, free to play friendly in terms of the mass majority of content is completable with free to play content, with free to play characters. Um, one exception to that might be some of the time limited events, maybe even the Spiral Abyss, but honestly, those things are just fight challenges. You do combat in them and you get primo gems or other kinds of awards. 
they don't actually they're not part of the core experience in my opinion the core experience at its heart is still the grpg questing and once you've done that what you'll find is that a lot of content creators complain about the lack of endgame because really there is no endgame the endgame is the spiral abyss and once you've done the spiral abyss and you've complete, completed all of the core content the questing then you have finished the game this is not a game you can play forever if you want engaging content uh, that that's a really hard thing to say because a lot of game a lot of content creators depend on this game to make money for them they depend on this game to create content for their audience but the harsh truth is this game has finite content you cannot even do the quests again you cannot look at the cinematics again there is no cinematic archive which is really weird and i hope mihoyo adds that but once you've completed each piece of content in Genshin Impact once, there's no going back. You can't do them again. You have finished the game at that point. The only way to do that content again is to start another account and do it all over again without all of your current characters. And not many people are going to try that, to be honest. So, you should... This is a warning and an advice to new players as well as current players that... You should take your time and enjoy Genshin Impact for what it is, because what it is, is very good. But if you rush through that, then it is just another gacha game.